On the November 12th episode of Cog, Scott Disick admits that Sophia Ritchie is getting on his nerves in quarantine, and he leans on Courtney amidst his troubles. Scott Disick went through a lot during the coronavirus lockdown in the spring, and it was documented on the November 12th episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. During the episode, Scott was admittedly struggling with being stuck at home without his usual routine. So, he rented a house in Malibu to try and get away from the issues he was dealing with at home. Being in Malibu is unbelievable, Scott revealed. I really like the house that I got. At home, there's no privacy with the paparazzi and being in close quarters with, my girlfriend, Sophia, Richie, we're definitely getting on each other's nerves. So getting to hear the water at night and waking up and seeing the ocean seems like a great getaway. I'd like to live here, to be honest. Unfortunately, it didn't work out as Scott planned. The paparazzi quickly discovered where he was staying, and their constant appearances continued to take a toll on him. That was super frustrating and I kind of felt like I was going to blow up, he revealed. Rather than letting it get the best of him, though, Scott decided to seek treatment to deal with his struggles. I just can't handle having nothing really to do and the truth was that I started feeling more and more anxious, more and more depressed, he admitted. I felt like I was going to do something bad if I didn't figure something out or take myself out of this position. I felt like now was the time to deal with it. Scott felt that a lot of his issues stemmed from the past traumas he dealt with, including the deaths of both his parents in 2013 and 2014. He chose a rehab facility that dealt specifically with the issue of past traumas. Meanwhile due to his issues with Sophia, Scott seemed to be leaning heavily on his ex, Courtney Kardashian, during this time. I just want to learn how to deal with everything the right way, he told her. I want to get to the root of everything that still frustrates me and I want to get past it. She couldn't have been more supportive. For the first time, Scott isn't being asked to go away, Courtney said in a confessional. He isn't having an issue with alcohol or drugs and it's his idea. I think it feels really different and I want him to be the best he can for my kids and for himself and for me. So I'm more than happy to support him in any way that I can. On the phone with Scott, she also admitted, I'm proud of you. Once again, though, things didn't play out in Scott's favor. Just days after his arrival, someone leaked a photo of him at the treatment center. He said it was the biggest betrayal of his life, and left the center immediately. From that point. He decided to deal with his issues via his usual therapy sessions. Luckily, the Carr Jenner family was there to lift his mood with a party for his birthday. Scott and Courtney seem to have gotten closer than ever before by this time. In fact, the whole family was super curious about a photo that Scott had recently sent to the family's group chat, which featured him and Courtney in a hot tub together. Kim explained that Scott, wrote, We're going for baby number four, along with a photo. Of course, Crew was dying to know whether or not that was true. Courtney and Scott played coy, and Courtney even lifted up her shirt to reveal an apparent baby bump. Of course, it was fake. After all, this was filmed several months ago, and if Courtney was actually pregnant, the baby would likely already be here. Still, Scott definitely didn't seem too turned off by the possibility. Let's just get it on. Chris Jenner said, to which he replied, OK, with a shrug. Keeping up with the Kardashians returns for its 20th and final season in 2021.